traffic here. Uh, <laughs> we'll look at Ty we'll look at Tyler's almanac first, and then we'll get you into your travel forecast. Yeah. Because again, a lot of moving parts to it, and I'm not really anticipating anything major here in East Texas, which is some good news. But that doesn't mean other parts of the country um, will be clear from inclement weather. But as we look at the almanac, 57 degrees was the high temperature today. Pretty chilly for this time of year. Our normal is 66, but that's nowhere close to the record of 81. Temps have come down 40s and 50s. A big reason why is we do have those clear skies um, moving in as that drier air begins to move in. Dew points in the 30s and 40s, so no concerns there. There's the drier air. It is going to be in place at least over the next 24 or so hours, but it is a much different story. Out to our northeast, major snowstorm moving into Canada and portions of Vermont. New Hampshire, Maine and Massachusetts there. So that's a pretty nasty storm that continues to progress off to the northeast. And the last of the cloud cover is exiting East Texas as we speak. And that happens to be from that storm system there. OK, so for tomorrow, I don't expect any travel impacts if you're traveling west. If you're traveling north to South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, deep south, Midwest, they look fine. As we move into Thursday, we're looking fine as well, but we will be tracking a disturbance in South Texas. There's a very slim chance that we see a couple of showers here and there to the southeast of Tyler and Longview, but all in all, rain chances are low and it will not be a washout or severe weather or anything like that. So travel hazards for your Wednesday, looking pretty good across the country, maybe a few storms along the East Coast there. Other than that, we're looking pretty good, but another storm will develop in the Northwest from Wyoming up into the Northern Rocky Front there near Montana, and this storm will develop into something over the Rockies for Black Friday, and that will be giving us rain chances as we move into Sunday, but tomorrow, Thursday and Friday looks great. No issues with travel whatsoever across the Lone Star State. So let's summarize that real quick. 37, mostly clear skies tomorrow. Highs will be back into the 50s. Lighter winds, plenty of sunshine. So all in all, not looking too bad. We'll advance this to Thursday. And as you can see, 44 degrees to start out in the morning. 54 at noon by 6. We are at 52. We will continue to see those partly cloudy skies as well. Next seven days. Upper 50s Wednesday and Thursday, we're at 61 Friday. Maybe a shower or two late Saturday into early Sunday because of that storm system moving through the Rockies right now. It will be arriving on Sunday, but it's just rain for us. No wintry weather or anything like that. 50s Monday and Tuesday of next week. Deep East Texas, same deal. We will be dry for Wednesday. I did include a 20% chance of showers for Lufkin, Nacogdoches, and Crockett Thursday because of that disturbance to our south. We'll be dry. Friday and most of Saturday. Neil Casey. All right.